Hello, last Monday I traveled to a place that has brought me great personal strife throughout the past three years. Immigration, Division One, the place every foreigner in Bangkok knows and loves. If you're unaware, it's the office that provides visa services and other services to foreign nationals that reside within Bangkok. This is the place you go so they don't kick you out of the country. A full list of their services is available on the immigration website, but I had to go there to transfer my visa from my old passport to my new passport. If you'd like to know more on the topic of renewing your passport abroad, I have a video on that, which is available somewhere. So I've been to the immigration center many times in the past, and it can be quite daunting. So I thought I'd share my little how-to immigration when you're a dumb student who's afraid of authority figures and police. Topic one, prepare all your damn documents. You don't want to get there and have to rush to make a photocopy or get a picture taken, so prepare everything in advance. Depending on the service you're doing, it'll require different documents, but that can all be viewed on the immigration website. And a disclaimer, their website has a lot of problems and often doesn't work. So, if that's the case, good luck! But if there is some document that you did forget or didn't do correctly, that's okay because there is photocopy and photo taking services available in the complex downstairs. Also, many visa services require documents from your place of study or your place of employment, so I'm sure in your organization there's someone you can go to and ask questions if needed. Number two, it's visa due and day. How do we get there? First thing, I recommend you set out extremely early because then you will be able to get a good queue number. In this video, I'll explain how to get there via some forms of public transportation. If you have your own personal car, then use Google Maps and continue to pollute the air and contribute to traffic congestion. Sorry, I'm passionate about public transportation anyway. Way number one, for people who live near the BTS SkyTrain system. So you'll take the train to Moshit Station, and then you'll take the exit that leads you to in front of Jatujak Park. Because the train is a SkyTrain, I'm sure you'll be able to see it. Then you must decide if you want to pay for a taxi and get a good queue number fast, or gamble your time by taking a bus and save yourself the cost. If you decide to take a taxi, tell the taxi driver to take you to and they should know where that is. If they don't, that's weird. Now for our bus people. First off, I highly recommend you download the application called Via Bus. It is an application that shows you the bus routes within Bangkok and surrounding areas. So, if you take the exit from the BTS to in front of Jatujak Park, you will see a bus stop with many buses passing by. Take bus number 52 to the CAT headquarter building and then walk towards the CAT Zengwatana stop. Had to check my notes there. And then get on bus number 66, which will lead you to in front of the complex. As I mentioned previously, I highly recommend you download this app because it has in-app GPS also, so you can track your way and not get lost. And now on to our people who live near an MRT station, not a BTS SkyTrain station. So, for our taxi people, take the MRT to Pahon Yotin station, and then take exit 1 onto Lat Prao Road. This is where you can hail a taxi. You can take other exits at this station, but exit 1 is the most convenient because it saves time when crossing over Lat Prao 5-way intersection, at least in my experience. And remember to tell your taxi to take you to Sun Lashakan Zengwatana Akhan B. And now for our bus people who live near an MRT. First off, you can take the MRT to Pahonyotin Station and take Exit 3, which will lead up into a small park that is surrounded by a highway overpass. You'll walk across that park, and then you'll see a pedestrian bridge, which you can take to cross Wipawadi Langsit Road. Once across the road, this is where you'll find a bus stop and take a bus. And it's the same route as I mentioned previously, number 52 to 66. And if you prefer, you can also take the MRT to Jatujak Park Station and take Exit 2. 
This will lead you to the same place as our BTS friends, and you should end up in front of Datu Jat Park, where you can get on the bus, same route as previously mentioned. And this should lead you to the government complex, where you will go to the immigration center. And if all goes to hell, use Google Maps and Via Bus, and hopefully it'll work out. Also, if you don't live near an MRT or BTS station, I don't know, move. On to number three, you're at the government complex and it's soul crushing. So when you first enter, you'll need to present your passport and go through security. This is a typical put your items through the metal detector, stand through the metal detector, that kind of security. And depending which entrance you got off at, you will either be right in front of the immigration center or just around the corner from it. And this government center is very large, but you can't miss the immigration center. Also, within this center, taking pictures is not allowed, so I hope I'll be able to find visuals when I'm editing this video. So when you first enter the immigration center, you'll see some counters and staff working there, and also some tables for people to write on their documents. This area is only if you need to ask for documents or forms that you do not have already, but you require. And once your documents are all good to go, you can go inside the center and you'll notice a counter at the front. This counter is where you should go. You can tell the employee what you've come to do that day, and they will check your documents, and if everything is all in order, they will give you a queue number. And depending on what type of service you're doing, you'll have to wait in a different place, but the center is all connected, so it's pretty easy to find your section. And the waiting time can be notoriously long, so be prepared with your phone and a book or something to sit and wait. And also, be ready to sit on the floor because there often isn't enough chairs. And also, the center does close down from 12pm to 1pm, so if you want lunch, good. If you don't, who cares? You have to leave anyway for that one hour period. So, once your number is called, go to the appropriate counter and the staff there will assist you and instruct you through the process. And as I said, this process is notoriously long and so you better be prepared to wait. I know one time I arrived there at about 9am and I did not leave until 7.30pm, so be prepared to wait. But eventually you'll be finished. Yay! You're not an illegal! And then to get home, do your transport steps just in reverse. But yeah, it should work out, hopefully, who knows? If it doesn't, don't ask me for help. And if you have any questions on this or anything else, comment below and subscribe. I need the validation and I post sometimes.